Hey everybody, what's up? <laughs> Welcome to Left to Center, Belgium's top rated podcast. Good morning. We're pretty solid in America. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. We're solidly in America. Somewhere in the mix. We're stronger in the, in the Midwest, particularly strong. Stronger in the, in the region. little dot called the region. Yeah. We have a scattering of... Uh, of have Belgium. you guys heard, heard of the us. band Sponge? What's that? Have you heard of the band Sponge? We talked about it last podcast. <laughs> <Yeah, last year. laughs> Yes, remember? And then what's going to happen? We're just going to disintegrate. We're going to die, yeah. <laughs> We're going to break up. Well, well, at least we know your mom's listening in California. Oh, yeah. Is she? I'm just thinking of spattering. Not right listening. now. She usually logs in around she the second be. half of the show. She'll be here. Yeah, basically, well, if you're listening, up. you're listening with my mom and my family and <laughs> maybe a couple other bored people. <laughs> <laughs> Good wow, triple digits already. That's a, they must be excited. It must be the shirt. They want to hear you I announce. I think it is the shirt. <laughs> Just because I'm wearing one of your new concert. shirts? Yeah, I bought for the show. Yes. I bought like a bunch of concert shirts. But that I, I've so you been didn't to. actually go to the concert for these shirts? No. I but think the, if I, think I had funny gone to the concert, well, I get the shirt. I go to the concert no, I buy, for the shirt. I, I'm glad. I'm happy for you. Thanks. But it's like, impressive. I also buy shirts at concerts. Uh, but well, when I saw Red Hot Chili Peppers, it was a long time a ago, and I was poor. That's so right. I you could couldn't buy the shirt. It. But I think the, the funniest part of you buying T-shirts is why you bought the T-shirts, why you were like, I got to get new shirts. Because like, <laughs> you can't wear the same shit on the podcast two days in a row. Like, or, like if you, God forbid, if you wear the same thing like a couple times in a couple of weeks, people point it out. They, they would. Yeah. It's and, our, and our chatters are very, uh, yeah, they they're notice, on top of they things. They notice like things. things. Like, so I have to, why like, are you wearing a Red Hot shirt today? I have to like have a better wardrobe because I really don't have a big <laughs> wardrobe selection. I have like a lot of suits. and then I, That's not that, true. You have a big wardrobe selection. You're just a creature of habit. Well, I have you like, grab certain things, but like, okay, if I wear a suit, I could wear a suit tie. I could change it all day. Yeah. But like when it comes to regular clothes, I just wear jeans and like a shirt. And during the summer, he wears his Corona swim trunks. I got new ones. <laughs> oh, Uh-oh. whoa. Those are going to be the 2021 summer trunks. <laughs> yeah. I've had these. They're really comfortable. You, you know bu- what? You've had a busy week. Dude. Because yeah, I have had a busy week. It was a uh, last show. I mean, it seems like we haven't stopped since the last show. We did the show and like came out of the show into a massive press conference uh, yeah. regarding uh, Kieran Carter's right, search. Right. I mean, when I say massive, it was like every local TV station, every Chicago new, outlet, Chicago, everything. It was like anytime you see like multiple antennas, satellite antennas in the police department parking lot, you know, it's going to be a, a, a busy a day. Yeah. 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 So we did that. And then uh, we had a meeting with the Methodist hospital chain. Which yeah, was, that was really interesting. That it was, was a, great. It was a really refreshing meeting great for, leadership young yeah. young oh, man. smart really cool um really interesting leadership and they were all about their mission and why about their and basically they were like hey you can succeed as a hospital in an urban core in an urban area as an as a healthcare provider to the urban poor and to ur- urban areas they're a perfect example of it and they, they mentioned it there could you say what they mentioned at the about they're committed to yeah i mean they said look we're committed to our mission we absolutely are. In fact, we know that you can succeed, you can um, be profitable if you need to be profitable or at least break even in an urban area. And they say we've been doing it in Gary for a long time. Um, you know, they when there was a f- fear of uh, Methodist Hospital leaving Gary back in the 70s, they entered an agreement. Um, and they've been operating under that agreement for some time with Gary, and it's been working. Yeah. And they explained to Imagine us how, that. they explained to us how, you know, everything works with, you know, federal funds and state funds and how you can make it work. Right. And it was just, I thought it was just really refreshing to hear leadership like that um, in the region talk about how we're going to stay where the population is, regardless of whether they're rich or poor. And by the way, another religious institution. Yeah, Methodist Hospital. Hospital. And they're they're a small hospital, right? They have, they have, they have Not even nearly the size of Francisco. Right. They have Gary and they have South Lake. Right. And so, like, and you hear from them, we're committed to our mission in Gary. They said that multiple times. We're committed to our mission in helping the poor. Yeah. And they said, look, I mean, <laughs> and don't. And, and I they, mean, I'm sitting there slapping myself when I hear that. It's like, how, how can we? I mean, I'm a Catholic. And then, you know, this Catholic institution that's in our city, and they're like giving the finger to the poor, and they're on their way out, like, screw you. And by the way, we're destroying this hospital on the way out, like your Baghdad, and we just took it over. But we want to build, you know, we want to help you build townhomes. So, and, and so. Yeah, the, the thing the thing of it is is and, and they said look i mean and this was a good point they made they said listen just because 
we say Gary doesn't mean like we're only serving the poor. There's a lot of people that come to the Gary Hospital. We have an unbelievable trauma center. Yeah. People come from all yeah. over and come there. There's a lot of people in Gary that have private insurance. It's not just, we're not just serving the poor. Right. But they're also, they said, we're serving the community and committed to our mission. And they have like, for example. How many times do they say that? Committed to our mission. I would say at least, I don't know, five, seven times. That's what I'm saying. The con- you know? conversation. And then. Are they committed to the mission? Because the Franciscans had a mission back in the day when they, they built the yeah, hospital. Yeah, well, they even have it on their website. It's and it's in. to assist and to build, sure, you know, of course. to and that's a good, poor that's a, and to serve the needy. That's a great mission. And, yeah, it's a great mission if you follow it. But if you, like, <laughs> just write it down on paper and then you, like, ignore Abandon your it. mission. Right? And it's <laughs> like, our mission is to service the wealthy. That's They should change it. You know? <laughs> if you're poor, we do not service you. We service the wealthy. I mean, that's very Catholic. That's very Christian. I'm very proud of being a Catholic. And, you know, maybe I should switch over to Methodist because it seems like the Methodists have a lot more heart. That's well, what it seems like to I'm me. I'm not sure if I would just, you know, we can't just pigeonhole all Catholics into this. I mean, I think the Catholic it's Church is still it's a good It's embarrassing for me, man. Is it, it makes me wonder what the heck, because seriously. But this is just one little part of it. The I mean, people that made this decision are very religious <laughs> people. Is, that's your stressed out sound. Yeah. It is, but it is. like that's. It's like hard not to question. Like You have a bunch of nuns and a bunch of priests that are know, like just priests that turning their back on the poor. Is, it the, is it the nuns and the priests or is it no, the board? Well, that's what I mean. How I mean, could I, the nuns and the priests stand by if it's the board that's doing this? I don't remember a time that I saw a nun there, though. Yeah, they that's, are, honey. They, yeah. they definitely have. Well, yeah. they used to be in the convent at St. Joe's. That was a long time ago. And they closed the convent and they, you know, they founded the institution. But I mean, at the end of the day, there's leadership on the board. And that's another thing, by the way, that Methodist brought up. They have people in the community on the board. They have people from Gary on their board. Oh, Wouldn't that be nice? Hearing An that. actual yeah. Hammond person on a wow. board? Wow. No, go, go Hammond figure. people aren't that smart. They, <laughs> how could a Hammond person sit on a board? I mean, you remember the, I mean, if for those of you from Hammond, like, you know, the Galvins and the, and all those guys that used to be on the board, they wouldn't have let this happen. They probably put Mr. Bellamy on there and they count him, even though I, he moved out of he, Hammond a long time he, ago. He, he cashed out from the bank. and. But what I'm saying is the, they probably moved away. Him. Oh, Cal's a Hammond guy. But like any Hammond person on that board would not have stood by while they were trying to, you know, I, or at least there'd be a voice. I mean, whether you win or not at the board level, I'm at least there'd disgusted. be a voice. I'm disgusted with so, that. So anyway, it was, a, it was a good meeting. By I the way, it's, the it's been uh, two weeks. I still haven't heard one word from them. They've called. Uh, they tried to set up a meeting. Um, we're, they didn't call me. I know, not with they're, Dad. They're, they didn't uh, call me. They're trying, we're, they're trying to communicate. We're trying to get it. We're trying to start some dialogue. There's I, no dialogue Maybe going. they can just Understand. sell the building to Methodist. They should, nice. They're going to burn it down like it's Atlanta. It and they, they, <laughs> like it's Atlanta. Stonewall Jackson. Stonewall Jackson. <laughs> Stonewall Jackson. Just burn it to the ground so that they can't possibly compete. Yeah. You know, I have a couple of friends who work over at Gary Methodist, and they love it. You yeah. Know, everybody but hears the, like, oh, you work in Gary. And he's like, my friends are like, yeah, this place is it's excellent. They I agree. Excellent it sounds facility. like just from you know meeting the leadership. It sounds to me like these are people that care. These are uh, like it seems like a great institution to work for. It's not cutthroat like a bunch of accountants, you know, like, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. And, you know, that's the thing of it also is that our communications are continuing with state and local and federal and local. Oh, uh, yeah, this is not over by a long shot. So it's it's a it's an ongoing issue. And we'll see. What it's happens. interesting that uh, there's a consent decree involved in another similar type of situation, which I'm, we're very familiar with consent decrees in the city of Hammond. It's mm-hmm. an agreement basically between federal courts and local cities and possibly hospitals that require a certain level of services, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah, you, can't just, you can't just walk away from a it's diverse population. It's interesting. Yeah. It I mean, because honestly, if this is the road we're heading down, what you're going to see, fast forward 20 years, when Lindsay's kids are like in high school, mm-hmm. what you'll see is anywhere. Oh, you're pregnant? When anywhere there's poor people. I am not pregnant. <laughs> anywhere there's poor people, there will be no hospital. That's the way we're heading. If there's any poverty at all, we're out. You know, we are only going to open hospitals where there's rich, rich people. Yeah, I mean, maybe that's emblematic of where healthcare is in America. I mean, it's it's all a big conversation. So, you know, what? on this show, Kevin, we are going to announce our Saturday night act. Yes, this is exciting. And I want to point out just because I wear certain shirts <laughs> in the studio. <laughs> Doesn't mean that that's necessarily our Saturday night act. I'm not saying anything, you know. I like wearing concert shirts. These are shirts that I wear, or concerts that I've gone to. Doesn't mean that they're playing the it's festival. An, it's of a very interesting decision. Now, Marissa on told a, me she a, said, "You know, people are going to think that Red Hot Chili Peppers are playing the fest." I, I mean, said, "Well, well, we all know Marissa's pretty smart. If they draw those conclusions, what could I do? People draw conclusions about me all the time. They, that is true. Yeah. People do draw conclusions. I agree. It's usually wrong. Well, well let's let's do this. Let's. Be let's be we've got. By the way. Um, <laughs> we we tease this, but we do have the um, 
Best region mayor coming in uh, a best little bit mayor later. in the How region dare you? as of 2021. <laughs> some, I have a problem with the best mayor of the region election. We're, we're going to get into that. I have a problem with it. I know you do. It was fraudulent. The whole election. It wasn't so fraudulent. Stop the steal. People voted. It is, there was a steal going on, <laughs> and I'm not going to stand idly by. Well, Mayor Carroll steals my He's freaking gonna, title. That's just not going to happen. And we're so going to march. Are you going to direct the people? To, no, no. We're, are you going to direct people to Lake Station City Hall? Are you going to direct <laughs> people? To, I'm with Tom. I'm going to steal. You, John. John's I'm like steal insurrection. Podium. Hey, I got Lake an idea. Station City Hall. I got an idea. How about I'm going to present a case today. I want Mayor Bill here. I want him to justify right. his actions after 8 a.m. I'm going to present a case to you, and you three are going to be the jury, and you decide. Like who's the best mayor? Stop the steal. Yeah. Okay. Stop the steal at Lake Station. All right. <laughs> so <laughs> like this, I'm up. not gonna sit by while and watch my title get stolen from me. And I'm not gonna stand idly by. You know, Bill Bill Carroll, you're walking into a lion's den, buddy. Look oh, out. No. So that's I know gonna, you're listening. You're walking into a lion's den, Mayor Bill. That's gonna be And a, I am the goddamn lion, you know what I'm saying? We hear God you. Dang. That's gonna be on the pod <laughs> after eight ten. So let's uh why don't we do ads? We'll come back. You've got an announcement to make and we gotta talk about this uh the mass but mandate. Why don't we start off with Lindsay because we have a huge audience. Yes, I'm appreciate, sorry. We appreciate you out Lindsay, there. Lindsay, I didn't mean to the live audience. You. We have a huge live audience right now. We want Let's to see your you. concert. We shirt. do this twice a week. You hurt my feelings. I thought you guys skipped me today. Never. Three days grace. Three days grace. We're going. We're going classic for me at least. That dad, dad never really listened to these guys, but we nope. all know that. Never even heard of it. You listen to Lincoln Park thing. too. Three days grace with a crow attacking a snake. Okay. Anyway, yeah, sounds anyway. awesome. Moving forward, you're listening to Left of Center, where we cover everything from politics to important events of the day in the Midwest and the nation, all having way too much fun while doing it. If you can't get enough of us, you can follow us on Facebook at Left of Center Podcast or at, on Twitter at LockPod, L-O-C-P-O-D. If you cannot listen in live, you can always download our episodes from the Apple Podcast, Spotify, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio apps. Just search Left of Center and look for our red and blue logo. Don't forget to subscribe and rate on every single one of those platforms, please. And if you would like to start an ad on our show, you can email us at steve, S-T-E-V-E, at lockpod.com. Thank you, Lindsay. You're we welcome. do this every Tuesday and Friday morning at 7.30 for those of you that are just tuning in for the first time. Do you, you want c- me to put that in my spiel? No. no I, we think, love I think spiel. it's good to repeat. Like, So oh. you start off and then I reiterate. And then while, we're, while I'm reiterating, they're literally we'll subscribing. Just, like, punch oh. them to It's like death. a one-two punch. Follow us. You're the one and I'm the two. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? I'm wow. number one. Yeah. So anyway, Enjoy we do this twice last. a week. We yeah. do it Tuesdays and Fridays. We do it live on Facebook. Uh, we also post this to uh, YouTube where we have a large audience. Uh, also, uh, Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, iHeartRadio, or Spotify. You can hear it on all those podcast platforms. Wow, look at you. I know. Please proceed. All right, let's go. <laughs> Thank you to our sponsors. You're on a roll. You want to do the first one? No, go right ahead. All right, Powering America is Northwest Indiana's source for a trusted electrical professional. If you are a developer looking for a large-scale electrical contractor, Powering America can help take the guesswork out of finding a professional you can trust. Their select network of electrical contractors are committed to employing local electricians, that have successfully completed a certified apprenticeship training program registered with the Indiana Department of Labor. All employees are held to a high standard of professionalism, expertise, and knowledge, and all of their contractors are licensed, bonded, and insured. If you would like more information about your electrical needs, visit Powering America today at certifiedelectrician.com. Here's a place I'm going to visit over the weekend. Byway Brewing. Brewery. Brewery. Brewing or brewery? Byway Brewing is a family-friendly microbrewery with a spacious tap room and outside patio perfect for enjoying its finely crafted ales, lagers, and chef-driven food. Brewing equipment on our production side offers a unique backdrop for your private event like bridal and baby showers, birthdays, reunions, and corporate events. Conveniently located just off 8094 in the Kennedy Avenue South Exit, come on by and enjoy Byway's award-winning beers and unbeatable menu. Try Electronics wants to beat your complete communications provider. That reminds me of the Seinfeld episode. And you want to be my complete. <laughs> you want to be my latex salesman, and George is laying on the ground in his underwear. <laughs> What's his name? Vandalay! Vandalay Industries! Vandalay right. Industries! Vandalay. And you want to be my latex, latex distributor. Yeah. Oh, we got to play that, John. Try Electronics wants to be your complete communications provider. Try Electronics has been a leader in this industry for more than 55 years and can provide your business with end to end communication solutions. End to end. For more information, call Try Electronics today at 1-800-722-6793 and tell them LockPod sent you. And they'll say, what the hell is a LockPod? And then you'll say, it's this great podcast that airs every Tuesday and Friday morning at 730. You should subscribe and listen to the locomotive. L-O-C-P-O-D. Right. 
Grizzolia's concrete was voted number one in the Times Best of the Region 2020 and specializes in all your concrete projects. See, they're best of the region. I mean, you were, one, announced... you were once best of the region as well. Um, this Gr election isn't over yet. Grizzolias, we're going through the litigation. Grizzolias period. has been yeah, the failed, the failed litigation. I'm filing an injunction as we speak. <clears throat> Don't ask me to do Mayor it. Mayor Bill is walking into a lion's den. We're going to do it at a landscape. We're going to announce it at a landscaping <laughs> outlet here in town. Kevin's my lawyer for Grizzolias. this. Grizzolias. No, no, no. Grizzolias has been. Uh, the hair my dripping, it's Where's coming. your mascara? <laughs> I did get a haircut. Twenty Grizzolias. years from now, he'll be wearing mascara and stuff. Oh God, God I hope not. <laughs> Grizzolias has and it's sitting in a in a Borat movie. Yeah, <laughs> laying right. on a bed in a hotel. Yeah, yeah. things uh, have gone bad. Taking your junk out. <laughs> <laughs> no, Grizzolias has been using the original cement finish in. Brody's like, thanks for talking about junk during California my commercial. California style. I like the hand. I love it when you do the California. hand. California. <laughs> Knows how the to white party. Hand. Or concrete. This California. <laughs> Since 72. Knows how to party. Also offers stamped and colored concrete. City. Oh, city For more information Compton. or a project quote, call we'll Grizzolias at 219-659-4127. We're sorry, Bernie. Let me welcome everybody. I leave the room for two mm -hmm. minutes. We're doing Bernie's commercial. Oh, God. We figured out it's better if I read it and they sing it. It's awesome. <laughs> Bernie, yeah. did, like, he's paying top dollar for this. So oh, we God. have to give him, we have to give him top We'll give you that service. refund back soon, Bernie. Grizzolia is concrete. <laughs> it's number one in 2020. And our, and our We're last. not sure about We don't 2021. know about 20. We, got, we need an update. Bernie. After we start doing these commercials, he <laughs> loses <laughs> the election. He's like... After I sponsored, for some reason, I didn't even make top three. <laughs> <laughs> Tortillas Nuevo Leon is the gold standard of Mexican cuisine throughout the Midwest. We have to think of a song for Tortillas Nuevo Leon. It's the gold standard of Mexican cuisine throughout the Midwest. The Martinez model for success has always been responsive customer service, great tasting products with an authentic Mexican taste, and high quality standards. Look for Tortillas Nuevo Leon's popular red and white label at your local grocery store and enjoy quality Mexican products made with local expertise. What do you suggest for a... Just out of curiosity, a Tortillas Nuevo Leon song. We should get Eli on it. Oh, get Eli. Eli, here is your challenge. Eli, we need a we Tortillas need help. Nuevo Leon. We, we have Eli come in for that commercial. I love and then it. Eli will play a song. Boom. That would be perfect. That's going to be great. Eli? That's a very, Eli, you have been challenged. See? You, you threw this at me live I did. on the air, and I came out. That's you, why I'm the mayor. Sometimes you amaze me. It's a perfect me. example of why I'm the mayor right there. <laughs> you'll Give be sitting me a in a meeting, and all of a sudden you'll have a bunch of work to do. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, Eli... You got You've screwed on this one. You've been challenged. <laughs> you have to come up with a Tortillas Nuevo Leon song with the banjo. Not with the banjo. With, the with his ukulele. ukulele. Yeah. And, and his we'll sing melodious it. And we'll sing it. Voice. All right, Eli. He will sing it. Eli, I want you to contact us when this song is ready. Preferably a, Tuesday would be great. We need a jingle. <laughs> Tuesday would be great. And he has to be here at the beginning Tortillas of the show. Tortillas Nuevo Leon jingle. Yes, we do. All right. And, okay. I love it. All right. So anyway, we're, we're out of commercial. Thank you to our sponsors. Of course, thank you to them. I would like to remind you again that I'm wearing a Red Hot Chili Pepper shirt because I went to that concert. But not because no, he's going to announce him yet. Let's didn't buy it at the concert, though. Poser. I did. I bought it last week. He said when he, didn't when he was young, he, didn't, he couldn't week. afford it. Oh, you you see it. Like I bought a bunch of young. shirts. I bought thirty five bucks at a. You bought your Mustang shirt. You a love that Mustang one. Shirts. I got a Cobra oh. shirt. I got a couple Mustang shirts. I got this. I got Nirvana. Let me bust it out. Guys, bust it out. I got a couple you. Hawaiian shirts. Uh, the best mayor in the region is here. All right, well, we'll get to him in a minute. I've we got, been here we got, the whole morning. <laughs> <laughs> I've been yeah, here like, day. I don't like the way this is working out. You guys are the jury today, and it seems like well, we my haven't daughter had your, is biased. We haven't had your me. case yet. So right, I know. I have a case to make, God dang it. Like, because you guys mayor, have to maintain an open mind here. Because Mayor Bill's this here. This election was stolen from me. We're going to hear all about it. <laughs> okay. As soon as you get through a couple things, which are, number one, uh, is it true that your emergency order regarding masks at public buildings is going to be expiring? Whoa. Tomorrow. I am not renewing 31st. it. I'm, I announced it to the council. I am not renewing it, and I am not wearing a mask in city hall myself. And because you know why? It's on everybody. I'm, I'm vaccinated. I am as well. Lindsay. I'm back. I had to get vaccinated. John. A requirement. I'm going to sneeze on John as much <laughs> as possible. A <laughs> chew. I'm going to be like drinking off. We his don't want to see John get sick, but no, he's no, going to make it. Well, John, you can him. still wear a mask. It's up to you. You know, we're going to put John in a bubble. <clears throat> Because we got to keep Thank him you. healthy. Thank you. I agree. And yeah. safe. So it's gonna be talk, tough to talk through the bubble, but <laughs> so yeah, that would be hilarious. A little, yeah, like, a little <laughs> hole, just a little hole for John yeah. in the bubble, <laughs> like a little well, arm hole. <laughs> <laughs> right. John hole. just rolled in. Yeah. <laughs> like a hamster like wheel. Like yeah. Hamster thing, yeah. <laughs> he can't get through the door. Yeah, we got to put him in the elevator carefully. Uh, Honestly, though, like I don't feel like I should have to wear a mask anymore. 
Okay. And I'm going to tell you, cause I'm going to be selfish. I got the shot. I feel like superhuman. I don't feel like I'm going to get it. And quite frankly, people are like, but well, you could give it to other people. Well, my family's vaccinated now. Patrick's vaccinated. Mm-hmm. Like we're all vaccinated. Well, and, the, if, and giving like, it we to did somebody our job. else. Yeah, exactly. Giving it to somebody else is, be, it would be because they aren't vaccinated or they decided not to be. If they, I mean, by the way, like it's super easy to get vaccinated. You can get vaccinated right now if you want to. And if you choose not to, God bless. And if you I choose not to wear a mask, wear and a if mask. I accidentally pass it to you because I'm a carrier, not I mean, you. I'm not trying to give it to you, but like I'm done wearing a mask. And if people don't want to get vaccinated, you have the God-given right to get COVID. Like, that's fine with me. And I'm, I'm not trying to be brutal. And I love John. And it's not just John. I have a lot of friends that haven't gotten yep. vaccinated. Yep. It's just like it's done. I'm done wearing a mask to make everybody else comfortable. I'm done. It's time. So it sounds, a, sounds selfish, but it is. I'm not wearing a damn mask anymore. I don't know if it's unselfish. I think it's just a kind I'm of done. A change in policy. And, and John, you're kind of moving and towards and that people part have of society. The right, you have the right not to in get society. it. In uh, society. Anyway, yeah. I'm not trying to step on anybody. I'm what do you think about this IU thing? This is a good story. So Indiana University, like Notre Dame, mm-hmm. Notre Dame came out early and said all incoming students have to be vaccinated. And you can't be a University of Notre Dame student attending classes if you're not getting vaccinated. And you have the right, you know, whether or not you want to go to Notre Dame, you don't have to go to Notre Dame. So cool if you want to go to Notre Dame, get the shot, right? You can get in. So IU follows suit and does the same thing, Indiana University, which is a little bit more complicated because Indiana University is a public college, whereas uh, Notre Dame is a private college, sure. right? So we have a group of 19 Republican lawmakers that are putting pressure on our governor right now to rescind IU's vaccination order. Or, I don't even know how they can do that. I guess they could withhold funding maybe or something. I have no idea. But, but we both have kids at IU. Yeah, we do. All my kids went to IU. And they're all vaccinated. And I'm like glad that they're requiring vaccination. Well, I'm glad because I don't want Tommy to like... When you go to elementary school, you got to have your vaccination. I posted one this morning, Kevin. Like, what if I'm like, we could start playing this game now? Like, okay, I don't want to get measles, mumps, rubella. <laughs> right. I don't want to get hepatitis Small or polio box. shots. Like, I don't mind if I get polio. Like, I'd rather, I don't trust the government. I, and, you know, I, I think they screwed up this polio vaccine and I'm not going to have my kids get it. And I still want them to sit next to your kids though. And yeah. completely carrying diseases that could easily be ratified by just getting a shot. Well, measles and mumps have come back because of that. Because of people I know that have said part of our have their part of our podcast studio is being very, very quiet, quiet, very quiet. So anyway, these 19 Republicans signed a letter, <laughs> sent it down a lot of feelings about to this. sent it down to IU and said, uh, we want you to we want you to come on back from what you just told everybody, which is the students have to be vaccine and faculty, by the way. And then Rokita, and faculty, Rokita, right. of course, this is a huge surprise, he's right? The, like the jag he's like, of the I year. am going <laughs> to. He is, dude. This guy's an asshole. Like, let's just be honest. Well, our you know attorney what he's general, trying to do. he's an asshole. You know what he's trying he's to do? He's campaigning for governor, of right? Of course. Now. He's like, I'm going to take. Todd, you're never going to be the governor. You know why? Because Hoosers are smarter than that. There's no way we're electing an asshole like him to be governor of Indiana. There's just no way. He is through and through. Kevin, give me. Come on. Is there anybody in state government you hate more than Todd Rakita? <laughs> Uh, it depends on the day, but he's always up there. I can't stand this guy. He is evil. Like he is evil. He's the kind of person. If he was in Germany in the forties, he would have gone right along. Whoa. I'm serious, man. You know what? <laughs> that's whoa. Um, <laughs> no. he's so, the kind of person that would have gone right along. Here, he, uh, here's what I would say. I mean, like he, I think what he sees is he sees an opening. He's like, this is my path to the governor's mansion. Yeah. He's like, I get it. Even if Indi- it's bad for America, in- even if it's bad for Indiana, Indiana. Right. right. I'm going to take this path that is that is on this, you know, kind of like, I'm going to follow the Trump MO and I think I can get elected doing that. And I mean, God love him if he, if he thinks he can do that. I just don't think Indiana's that dumb. I don't think so either. I hope Thank you, not. Tiffany Phelps in the chat. Yeah. Oh, well. she's with, oh, John's got to find some friend. <laughs> John's like, because the Come three on, people in here aren't <laughs> Come on, John. treating me yeah. nice. We're trying to like, we're John's trying like, to poke Tiffany, you. I hear you. Okay, you've poked me. Good. Oh, here and we go. I will just, I think any I've been poking you. I think any college that mandates the vaccine should lose all public funding. Oh my uh, god. Okay. Really? Um, no, listen, listen, listen. What about wait, any wait. school that does not mandate it Look, says you, you guys don't... have been talking about this for 5 minutes, all right? I've sat here. I haven't said anything, okay? B- just bubbling. You the government cannot mandate this shot. But what's happening is these universities <laughs> that get public funding are mandating the shots. What about measles, mumps, rubella, polio? I, I have no problem with that. Why? Why not? 
they they've been fully approved by the FDA. This is only approved so for emergency the, use only. Do you think only. the COVID oh, we're in an emergency? You guys, this is a vaccine that was developed in. We're in a actually, pandemic. no, I'm sorry. I'm, I got to stop calling it a vaccine because it's not. We're in a pandemic, still get John. COVID. Were we supposed to like go through a five year process and watch people die by and, the hundreds of thousands? I'm and by not the saying way, that either. Kudos. I'm saying to, if you want the shot, get the shot. If you don't, don't get the shot. It was developed in nine months. It's kudos not fully to pre- approved kudos, yet. Kudos to your president, President Trump, and Operation Warp Speed for moving that along. Seriously. I have Look, no, no problem no. saying this that. Is I have no I s- problem saying that. This is one of the things I split from Trump. He's over here like every day. He's, he's like p- p- releasing press releases like, oh, thanks to me, the, vac- the vaccine's out. It's doing great. Blah, blah, blah. Everyone should be thanking I'm me. I'm sure he was in the white coat in the lab developing yeah. it, right? <laughs> <laughs> he got the mono. What are those called, John? Mon- yeah. Mon- mononucleosis. Thank you. Mononuclear antibodies. I just, yeah. It makes me sad as an American that we can't, in, during a pandemic, we can't even get on the same freaking team. It's, we're doomed as a country. We are as doomed as a country. This country is never, it's like the Civil War is taking place and there's no clear and geographical it's on social boundaries. social media. Yeah, there's no, <laughs> Indiana has Civil War, you know, Illinois has a Civil War, California has a Civil War, it's in the, your own state. It's like, at least in the real Civil War, it was North versus the South. In this one, your enemies and friends are everywhere. CNN we're surrounded by Fox each other. News, or One News Network. So, so, but Tom, you're saying the the measles, mumps, whatever else is mm-hmm. the same as the COVID John vaccine. What I'm saying is measles, mumps, rubella. That shot's been around forever, okay, and it's been approved by the FDA. I get it, okay, but the FDA has a, a like a what a five year process to approve shots like this, and if we waited the full time to get the COVID approval, hundreds of thousands of people would have died between the approval and. Instead, they made a vaccine, and it's not perfect, but, it, you know, I've, everybody I know that I haven't heard one person have adverse reactions other than a sore shoulder. And, a couple, and I know a lots couple, of people. Sick for a couple of days. Yeah. I mean, there are obviously sick for a, some people have, there have been, there was an issue with Johnson & Johnson, and people, there was several people that no died more from it. No more clots. Right. Several people died from that, and that's terrible, right? We're not saying that's a great thing, but it's, as compared to the amount of vaccines that have been given, 133 million now, 50% of the population has been, has been inoculated at least right. once. Can I ask you a I question, mean, Kev? Yep. Do you think eventually the COVID-19 shot will be approved by the FDA? Yes. Yes. I do too. Okay. I think it's probably going to take a couple it, years and it'll be approved. It's a wait here. It's a way. It's a talking point for those that want to say like, I'm going to wait for final approval of the FDA right. instead of just saying like, okay, it's, it's going to be emer- approved. It's emergency approval. And by the way, emergency approval under the Trump administration, emergency approval under the Biden administration. So it's been approved in an emergency basis. To me, that's enough. I, I had agree. no problem going to get my shot. And, and God love people that don't. And, and John, I don't criticize you for not getting the shot. That's your decision. John's I don't think friend. it's that. Uh, yeah, I, I don't want John. you to get sick. I don't want to see John get sick. He's made the decision. He's not going to get it. And he's not know, my and only friend. That that's right. Well, we've, here, we've had people we know and friends that have been in the hospital because they decided not to get a shot. Last week. Two yes. of them. Yes. John knows them too. Yes. Right. Yeah. And that's not a good thing either. And we care about them. Yeah. Greatly. I don't want to see people I know get sick. I agree with you, man. So, and if I'm giving John shit, it's because I'm John's friend. I agree. I'm right. I'm doing this out of a good spot. I'm, and I'm giving you John shit that. because I love you, John. <laughs> Thanks. And I'm giving <laughs> you shit because I love you. <laughs> we appreciate that. I think that's the title of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you shit because I love you. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, All right. Well, you we've know, never had a cuss word in our title before. No. It might be well, the first. well, we'll have to do S.H. Well, star, I, star. I like I like this. <laughs> I like this title also. Mayor Bill Steele's. Get him election. in here, Lindsay. Mayor Bill Steele's election. It is time. Is well, it time? Wait. We haven't you made have, the big an announcement. announcement. We have to make the big announcement. <laughs> All right. We'll do it while Bill's walking That's in. That's right. How about well, that? Mayor Bill. Hey, Mayor Bill. Well, the best mayor in the region, newly crowned. That is some bullshit right there. <laughs> it's I'm not saying, like, I'm taking a, taking a lead from the man in orange. I'm mm-hmm. not going to stand idly by while this election <laughs> is stolen from me. Give me some support on that there, John. Amen. Thank you. Oh, oh there's the guy right there. There's the guy right there. Oh, oh my God, dude, man. Look at we the shirt. Dress code. Look at the shirt. Oh, yeah. Number one. Number one. That's right. <laughs> wow. Like, he brings kept, in his fancy up, coffee. You, man. you look like a champ. Mayor Bill. Mayor you look Bill, like a champion. Carol from Lake Station. Come on in. Thank you. Nice everybody. to see you. Um, this is going to be a bad day for you, Mayor Carol. Because I'm bringing it. You're it you're in the lion's den right now. Okay. I, I, you, you uh, he's, trying to, he's trying to make me happy. Yeah, he is. Oh, oh man. That is never, oh. I'm going to use that to wipe parts of my body. I'm telling you right now. <laughs> that's, that's what I got him for you. <laughs> a, I hope oh. it's a soft to material. <laughs> <laughs> this one is yours. Thank oh, you. So, Mayor Bill, for those that can't watch right now, uh. Mayor Bill has just arrived, and he is uh, handing out his Mayor Bill Lake Station number one uh, T-shirts. Right. <laughs> 
<laughs> they thank say you. thank you on the back. <laughs> thank you, Mayor Bill. Aww. Yeah. No, it's so nice of How you. How much, I mean, uh, part of my case against you is the amount of money you spent on this campaign. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is a perfect it's coming. You're, you're making it's coming. my case for me, Mayor. All right, so before Mayor Bill sits down, yeah, Mayor Tom, you have got we did a this for huge, you, huge, huge, We're making a huge announcement. Huge announcement. We're making a for, huge announcement. Uh, the fest. And to finalize the... the uh, Saturday night. The fi- we're going to finalize the lineup. the lineup. Yeah, let's right? do it. Um, I'm not just going to come out and say it, okay? I'm, and this is a... Uh, when I was a kid... I idolized Van Halen. It was like my band. Like if you had, I had a Mustang, a red Mustang, and I listened to Van Halen when I was a kid. It was pretty simple kid. So like pre-1984 yeah. album? Like, no, yeah, way before. So like Diver Van Halen, Down, Van Halen, Diver, Diver Down. Down. Fair right, warning. Fair like I idolized these, uh, yeah. these people, okay? And then when they did 1984, David Lee Roth broke the band up. They broke up. Yep. And then... The Van Halen became Van Hagar to some people. It was still Van Halen to me. And I remember when 5150 came out, it was a seminal moment in my life. I remember exactly where I was when I heard Why Can't This Be Love. I know exactly where I was. I listened to the whole <laughs> tape, like the day it came out. And I, so like for me, you know, Van Halen was like the soundtrack to my life. Okay. And Sammy Hagar uh, was my first concert that I ever heard. Uh, I went to see him in Marin County when I was, I had to be on 14 or 15. I was super young. To go to his concert, I went to see Marin Sammy County. Hagar. Where'd, where'd you see him? I showed you the place. You were yeah. in California. Yep. Yeah, I forgot the name of the place. It was Amazing. like the Civic. I want to say it's a Civic Center or something like that. But I saw Sammy Hagar there. He grew up in. Well, Sammy's from Northern California also. So when Sammy joined Van Halen, for me, that was like my favorite people all getting together and forming Van Hagar with Van Halen, which was amazing. But so for me to be able to announce what I'm about to announce today is pretty incredible. You yeah, know, we got the Red Rocker to play the Festival of the Lakes. <laughs> Sammy Hagar is and friends. Uh, by the way, his friends include Michael Anthony, who is the bassist for Van Halen. And uh, I know we don't know for a fact whether or not the drummer will be Jason Bonham, who is the son of the former Led Zeppelin drummer. And if those three get together in what they call the circle, and we don't know for a fact if we got the entire circle yet, all they play is Led Zeppelin. Sammy Hagar, Montrose, and Van Halen songs. That's all they'll play that night. Yeah, right now we've got Sammy Hagar and friends, and we're going to see what happens. So that's exciting. So festivallakes.com, go right now, uh, get tickets while they last. I know the tickets are now discounted through June 1st, which is Tuesday, so hurry up. Uh, Festivallakes.com, get your VIP experience passes, not tickets because it's a free show. VIP experience passes if you'd like those that access on festivalofthelakes.com. Otherwise, it is a free festival show. I think it's... The biggest show we've ever got. I say this every year. But uh, no, I'm telling you, this uh, Sammy Hagar's never played the region. Um, Van Halen's never played the region. We got, there's only three members of Van Halen that are alive right now. Well, I guess four if you count David Lee Roth. But we got two out of the four. Michael the Anthony, being Michael there Anthony is and huge. Sammy Hagar. It's going to be big. Mayor Bill, are you a Sammy Hagar fan? <laughs> Absolutely. Are you? Nice. Yeah, because I didn't know, honestly. Grew up with it. You're um, at least 10 years younger than me, right? What yeah, are you? 10 well, years exactly. Yeah, 10 years. Because that is, you were listening to. So you were young when Van Halen. Oh yeah, my my dad was a huge, you know. So it's right. hard not to be a Van Halen. So you're gonna fan you're gonna be at her Hey, Hager my concert. dad was Absolutely. a huge fan right. too. Absolutely. <laughs> then we're going raving afterwards. I'm down. I'm down. That's gonna be a, that's gonna be a week. By the way, like that night tonight. And granted, I want to remind everybody that originally, excuse me, we had uh, Snoop Dogg for that night, and it got we got canceled late because he got a game. TV show. Yeah, and Snoop's great, and we're hoping he comes back next year for the fest. And we're working on it, but. I know there's going to be some criticism coming back because we're not having a rap act. We usually do on Saturday nights. We were scrambling. Okay. That's all I want to say is we wanted to get Saturday the biggest night mm-hmm. and we wanted to get the biggest act. But as it works out, uh, Thursday, we have Limp Biscuit. I mean, the three night in a row. If you want to do like three day weekend in Hammond, you mm-hmm. got Limp Biscuit on Thursday, Ario Speedwagon on Friday, and Sammy Hagar on Saturday. Come stay at the hotels in the region. Are you kidding me? I'm like, going to. Make right? it a, make it a bank vacation that a week. A little bender. Right. Yeah. Let's have a little bender with uh, starting with Limp Biscuit. And by the way, <laughs> I can't, we, can't, <laughs> we can't forget that uh, Old Dominion is on Tuesday and OJs are on Wednesday and yep. Los Tocanes are on Sunday. And the Old right. Dominion tickets or are, are, are passes, VIP experience passes are going like crazy. So who's going to be the top seller? I don't know. Because right now, we've got so many acts. Ario I mean, Speedwagon's in the lead right now. Yeah, I, and, but it's all close. Old Dominion and Old Dominion is all, has been on sale the yep. least amount of time and has caught up to Ario Speedwagon. Yeah, for and passes. Sammy Hagar is just about to go on sale. I was going to say, with your announcement this morning, yeah, I think we'll that, sell a bunch of them. Yeah, we've done uh, uh, almost $200,000 in pre sales already. Really? Yeah, for uh, passes. Yep. Yeah. So I want people to know that. You know, because a lot of people like to wait until the end and they're like, oh, I'm just I'll grab some <laughs> passes last minute. You know, if this thing sold out, 
You guys all right over there? <laughs> hey, what's the, uh, what's Rick the Long? Great comment. Uh, he he said, uh, "Get me a VIP pass, Mayor Carroll. I voted a hundred times for you for best mayor <laughs> yeah, in the region." We used to like Councilman Rick. Rick yeah, Long, Rick. Block with em. friends like that, <laughs> block him, <laughs> block him. That's part of where. Good we're morning, going. Councilman Long. We're good. That's part of where I'm going with this, Mayor Bill. Welcome back. Yeah, yeah thank you. Good Ma- to see you, buddy. It's, Mayor it's, Bill, can you scoot right up to the table? Yeah, I'll get all up in the business. All the way up there. Get all the way up there. Yeah. Get, get close right. to to your Perfect. adversary. Perfect. I want close you to my adversary. I want you, <laughs> two. I want you nice and uncomfortable. Scoot up to number two. We're good. coming. Good. Yeah. What do you got, Mayor? Um, I'm sorry, Mayor Tom. I, you know, obviously <laughs> after the uh, 2020 election, I felt like a sucker personally because. You know, when I ran for Congress against Congressman Mervan and, mm-hmm. and, uh, and it was a loss and and I conceded that night and like I, I didn't even realize that you could contest elections like the president was doing. <laughs> I could say things like he cheated. Uh, they didn't count the ballots right. I didn't. I felt like a like a dumbass. Like, what the hell did I concede so quick for? You know, I mean, Kevin, you didn't even tell me I had these options, right? Uh, I didn't think you did. Or so don't think you do. I always thought like. On election night, you're supposed to be a gentleman. If yes. you didn't have more you votes were. than the other person, you're supposed to reach out. And then I would learn differently. Mm-hmm. I learned that you could fight it in court. I learned that you could fight it in court of public opinion. Uselessly. Right? In court, but yes. Not you uselessly. You could say in that court. the election was fraudulent. I sure. could have a whole legion of people in Northwest Indiana that are just Tom McDermott through and through. It was an election steal. <laughs> I didn't even do that. We can go stock all the vote counters. <laughs> yes. Like, <laughs> Come down to the election board. And yell well, at them what? while they're Tom, leaving. That's right. I took I took cue from President <laughs> Trump, and I am not Good standing lens. for this bullshit, Mayor Bill. Like, this is a stolen election, and I'm going to prove to you why it was a stolen election. You is know, just right? looking at the picture, I, I, I can't. I, colors. I can't wait. Yeah? Well, yeah okay. I can't wait. Yeah, wait. Sit there, just sit there, and uh, I'm going to give a little presentation here, okay? Okay. And then we, I, I want to hear what your explanation is. All right. Okay. Let's do it. All right, it. ready? First off, do you have the pictures there, John? I do. Okay, so for those of you who are watching on YouTube, and you and can that, look on our left monitor here, Mayor, Mayor Bill. Bill. So you can no, see they're not on there. Oh, they won't be on there. All this right. Is right. Thank an you, example John. of dirty politics. Oh, it won't be on there? Dirty politics. I'll be <laughs> on for the viewers at home. <laughs> I will let Mayor Bill look at Example of dirty politics in a stolen election is the blatant campaigning on Facebook. Okay, right. There was a Mayor promoted, Tom. Did you promote? Did you blatantly campaign on Facebook? I didn't put one word out, <laughs> other than a couple like funny little comments on left of center. <laughs> Do you, you don't have Mayor Bill? I'll show Mayor. It's Bill. up. It's up. Okay, so right. I have this really nice picture of Mayor Bill. He's got a bow tie, bow tie on. Going. He's like smirking to the camera. He looks very handsome. Yeah, he he is very handsome. Thank right? you, Lindsay. Well, but thank like, you. there's a couple things I noticed about this picture. That, by the way, it was run like. 50 or 60 different times. It's a times good picture, reposted. you know? And you notice it says, it says this promotion. So you know it's yeah, been paid for. Let's this talk about that. This promotion. That means uh, <laughs> money was spent on this, if I can understand this correctly. Absolutely not. Oh, yeah? There oh. was no money spent whatsoever this is my, this on This is my skeptical face. This, this is my promotion. courtroom face. I'm like, really? <laughs> I don't. I don't this know. Is I don't. <laughs> you know, uh, I like I said. No, I spent no money on this. Uh-huh. Uh, uh-huh. Word of mouth and uh, multiple. You posts. giving me a platform? Oh, really? Oh, 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 you oh, giving oh, me a platform? Oh, oh, this is a uh, bullshit. Like throwing it back on. All right, like no, exhibit I, B, please. All right, I don't all right. Like that was exhibit, exhibit A. All right, all right. <laughs> that didn't a, work. This one did not work. Let's go. Okay, how about this one? This is still out here. All right, all right. Because he's not convinced. Lake Station Mayor tests positive for COVID-19. Oh, this illness is serious and real. That's pulling on the heartstrings. That's a great picture they put of me. Uh, it, it is a really bad picture, by the way. That's the was worst like, damn picture I've like, ever seen. Less handsome than but that one. I, think, I don't know if this is real, though. I'm, uh, I'm questioning. I think it was campaign. Did you have COVID? Did you actually have COVID? COVID's a hoax. You know what? You know uh, what? When, when uh, President Trump admits if he had I'm COVID like or not, I'll... Did you really have COVID? Absolutely, I did. I had a real bad case of it. Yes, you did. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you think it helped you with votes? Uh, that was in October. All right. But still. All right. All right. It's just a publicity thing. It was that's a while what, ago. You calling it a okay. stunt? Yes, I, is... I, I went out looking. Uh, <laughs> I need to I catch like, COVID. You I need like votes. COVID. I, I, uh, please sneeze on me or let <laughs> me drink after mouth. you. Yeah, please exactly. Sneeze on me. Please, please sneeze on me. In my mouth. <laughs> no, you got COVID? Please sneeze on me. All right. This is this just is... to screw Mayor Tom that's over. Right. That's Exhibit right. Exhibit C. This is the this is damning. This is the coup de grace. This is damning. Like, I don't know if he's going to like this one at all. <laughs> all right. Exhibit all right. C. Once with, again, I'm going to go. With the cruise I'm depleted, a- Lake Station Mayor Bill Carroll uh, boards garbage truck. I had nothing on my calendar that afternoon, <laughs> so why not? And they accidentally take a picture of you while you're doing the garbage. Like, that was definitely during the campaign. This was that, right during the campaign. 
Well, if you call it a campaign. It was oh. a campaign. Oh. You know. Uh, oh. I, 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 I swear uh, that was not a setup. Look how like, cold it, it looks, by the way. Look how cold he looks. Like, I'm looking. He's all bundled up. First off, which one's Mayor Bill, Kevin? Can you tell me? I, I think it's the one Maybe facing none of the them camera. Are Mayor Bill. The you one facing. But can you tell? Lindsay, you're supposed to be on my side I'm over sorry. here. Yeah. I don't know whose side I'm on. But, like, can you tell? You can't tell it, Tim. It just looks like yeah. a dude with, like, overalls on and he's covering his face. He looks it's cold. cold, right? Well, I look like a hobbit, first of all. But, like, how do you know? So, uh, Maybe it's a body double. So, what I'm saying is somebody I, listen, had to be tipped I, I'm off. not that important that they have a body double for me uh, <laughs> in Lake Station. Somebody tipped off the press. That's all I'm yeah, saying. You know, right. right in the middle of a campaign. Oh, press photographer just had to be found oh, in Lake Station like garbage I'm truck. just following a garbage truck and I took a picture of this garbage man. Happened to be the mayor. You <laughs> yeah. know, like. Those look like Mayor Bill's eyes. That must be him. <laughs> That's right. Because they're, 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 they're so uh, all right. blue and distracting. That's it. Okay. That's it. Exhibit, See, exhibit D. The first couple exhibits he brushed off. I can tell that one did damage. All I right. can tell he's, he's, he's starting to think like shaking. maybe I did steal he's this shaking. election. I, I got him, <laughs> Mayor Bill. You, you pissed off a lawyer, like. <laughs> so by well, the way, where, me? our jury. Oh, you guys, the three of you are the jury well, here. Well, right? that's a lawyer too, didn't you know? Okay, how about this? Was, I am a that was the jeweler. <laughs> I'm a lawyer. <laughs> that's a <laughs> Star Jones. Yeah, what's that? Uh, TMZ, right? I'm a lawyer at the end of every TMZ show. <laughs> You right, watch anyway. TMZ? Shit, I wish I had time I to watch TMZ. I, yeah, TMZ. I watch it. He's oh. busy oh. running for best mayor in the region. How about this? This little tidbit. <laughs> Exhibit D or E? Exhibit D. On. He Which throws one? a food drive right in the middle of the election. Good for him. Food drive. You did right? that. We, we fed over media. 400 people uh, a ton of food. Did you hear the you make about them the show best mayor you, contest? Did you say, have you voted for me yet? <laughs> Absolutely not. No. Listen, I'm not no, I'm not throwing anything that I've worked so hard away <laughs> to be in a line passing out food saying Vote for Bill Carroll for mayor. Of, uh, <laughs> did you have that? Did you have I'll let vote? the jury decide. Absolutely not. No, I did Text not. Text this number. I don't know. It just sounds I'll like the jury Mayor decide, Bill, Bill is a nice person. <laughs> I'm going to let the jury decide because uh, I think Mayor all Bill's of this like, added up starts to paint the picture here that this election was stolen from Mayor I don't mayor know. Tom. I think he's just I think he's just good, doing his job. You guys are a jury. Why don't I think you, he's like, doing his job Why don't you guys so shut the hell up and listen right. to that? I'm the only one listening, Tom. Thank you, John. Like These guys have formed their damn opinion already. Exhibit E. All right. Exhibit E. This is one of my favorites. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, I prepared for this, buddy. You adopted a rescue dog right in the middle of the campaign. Fancy Ray. Who is that dog? Did you adopt a dog in the middle of the campaign? I don't know if this is your dog. Well, no, no, that's fancy, absolutely, mm-hmm. but, you know. Interesting. Uh, and she, right in the middle of the campaign. She, right. came into the, she came right into the studio. Yeah. Yeah. Wearing. Yeah, well, Mayor well, Bill's well, for my daddy. <laughs> but right, yeah. in the, right in the middle of the campaign, <laughs> rescue yeah, dog gets adopted, know. right? Huh. It's good timing. Who's, Interesting who's, timing. Whose dog is that? That, okay. That's that's my dog. That's fancy. That, that is exactly. that is fancy. So you would Such agree that it's your dog? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Do you still control. have the dog now that you've won? <laughs> oh. <laughs> and I'm still kind of mad that you didn't bring your dog here. Today. John. <laughs> do you still uh, have the dog? Uh, that's a great question, man. Yes, I still have the dog. Good. That's, that's part <laughs> really? of the family. I noticed Fancy's uh, not here with you. <laughs> you know what? Uh, she was being bad this morning. <laughs> oh. Uh, I have, and I, have, uh, I let her outside, uh, and who? she got completely drenched in in mud. She's a mole killer. Uh, oh, really? She's the best thing that I've had for moles. Jeez, bring her over to my house. But Mike's been doing the backyard, you know, getting it all pretty and all mm-hmm. that kind of stuff. Because, you yeah. know, being a mayor, you hey, got to have too. a nice yard and all that yeah, kind of, of course, stuff. Of course, of course. You, you, yeah. viol- you don't want code violations if you're a mayor, right? Yeah, no. Especially if you're the best mayor in the region. Exactly. I mean, that's yeah. even more reason. Yeah. To... Okay. And then, Anything and then else for you to present? There was a social media Mr. drama at the, at the end of the campaign. There was a social media, like, there was a lot of prayers going out for Mayor Bill. Yeah. Because he felt ill. Yes. Because he was campaigning so hard. Yes. Like, against me. He was campaigning so His hard. He got kidney stones. Yeah. Right? Exhibit F. And then like he gets like 600 shares and 600 comments and thousands of people. This is right before the election, by the way. God bless Mayor Bill. And then Bill. Mike, Mike uh, Mayor Bill's partner, puts yeah. out a text. He's like, Mayor Bill's sick. Pray for- He's in the hospital. We need mm-hmm. to pray for him. And this is right in the middle of the campaign. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, this is, you know. I think the disclaimer said text. You know, text, yeah, text 685 for Mayor. <laughs> <best mayor. laughs> By so, the way, after you're done praying for Mayor Bill, yeah, make sure you vote for him for best yeah. mayor. So, did, were you actually sick? Oh, <laughs> no, I, 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 uh, uh, I rented out a room at, uh, at, uh, at, at St. Knew, Mary's. I knew, I knew. Uh, this went really deep. It was like the deep fake, deep state stuff. Deep fake. It, well, you know, I, first, I want to thank Russia. <laughs> uh, because without their help, Putin uh, was involved. I knew mm-hmm, it. I mm-hmm. knew it. Uh, I, it. You know, it was getting close there for a second. I was getting ready to call it the Clintons. Uh, you know, they would have put, right there, well, they they put the, me away. Uh-huh, I, you know, I <laughs> would hate for you to pizza parlor, probably. Yeah. Oh. No, but the, you know, it's uh, this is fun. 
Oh, this is, uh, you know, we're all in this together. We all have the same goals for the region. Yeah, the And uh, I think that I want to see is... what the jury thinks, though. I want to see what the jury I, thinks I'm, about this. I, you know where my vo- I got my vote. What's that? I, I think Mayor Bill won at Fair and Square. Son wow. This is campaign Tom's manager. campaign manager. John, John. I think it was stolen without a doubt. Thank you, John. And I, I will, knew the Trump supporter would yes. side with me on this. And, and I'll tell you the one piece of evidence you didn't even bring up, Tom. Here's What's why. What's that? Lake Station Ooh. has a population <laughs> of like 10,000 people. Yeah. Hammond, 80,000. How do you win that? Did he turn my own residence? people don't me? have cell phones. Don't yeah. It? Well, uh, many people have other things to do. Once again, China. <laughs> I, like, I, I can think, <laughs> China I think the China billion, now. I'm, 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 on the China, I'm on the China one. Uh, Russia and China, of course. It was a big uh, you know what? I, I, you know, first of all, You've done a fantastic job. Thanks, brother. Uh, I appreciate and, it. And uh, continue like to do a fantastic you know, we, job. I, like I said, I, 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 hey, man, I watch you. I see what you do. You handle yourself, and that's 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 my mayor you know, bill. We don't the, mince words, and uh, you know we don't. I, yeah, I obviously, I care if I upset somebody, but at the end of the day, um, you know, a, if I tell you something you don't like it, that's not my problem. I want to see what Lindsay has to say about this. You know, she's the tiebreaker. This Hello. is like if Lindsay's with you, then. You're the official, the way I see it. Here we go. I, you know, <sighs> drum well, roll, please. You know, I mean, I, I'm feeling pretty good about my daughter being hand, on my side here. On one hand, Mayor <laughs> Bill did a lot of really good things, and it seems like he's just a really nice person. Of course. But mm-hmm. on the other hand, he didn't bring his dog in today, oh. and I really like her. This so, is interesting. That and your dad is and the other character. Oh, right, yeah. and my dad is also in the running. Um, but I think I'm gonna have to side with Mayor Bill on this. What the hell is oh, going oh on? Like, <laughs> what the hell? This is Major ridiculous. Upset. Are you losing my it's own my, studio? Okay, dad, it's my job as your daughter to keep you humble. So yes. I'm gonna go I, with you. You don't Mayor think Bill. an election <laughs> loss in front of 700,000 people was humbling? <laughs> <laughs> but me to tell you, that was humbling. By the way, there was like 700,000 people knew I, I voted, lost. Too. I voted for you for that one. I did too. Thank you. I bet Mayor Thanks for voting too. for me for Congress. <laughs> we, we don't know about John. You screwed me in the studio, though. <laughs> so. The poll, so two to one. The poll is split down the middle. Right really? Split down the middle. Who really wow. won Best Mayor? It's split. I'm putting t- Mayor Tom right now. <laughs> Bink. Like I'm gonna put it over the top there. Jeff Cardwell said Mayor Bill. Quotes China Carol. Nice. <laughs> China. <laughs> that was awesome. Mayor. It was like, take you to Russia and China for helping you. So Did Putin, I? Putin and Z were involved. Right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were just over the other day for dinner. I, you know uh, the thing. <laughs> I, they were over for dinner. I made peppercash. <laughs> hey, Mayor Bill. I thought I saw something in the paper recently. Since oh, hold on. Could I? Could I yes. congratulate? Him. Of course. Congratulations, brother. You're Thank a, you very much. You're an amazing mayor. You really are. You're going right? to have one of those soon. Yeah, we'll have your name uh, that's on still it. staying up, by the way. Yeah. Absolutely, you are. And when people, yeah, I'm America's mayor now. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not Northwest Indiana's best mayor. I'm America's mayor. Was now, Mayor Dave so. a distant third? Do we know how far know. down he I'd was? like to see the score. I'd like to see, like, I, I think the times. Give us some. Numbers. I want to recount. I want to recount. I do. <laughs> I don't. If it was I, I know close, there's a bunch of there's a, a bunch recount. of ballots in Hammond right now that have not been counted. I think that's right. They're under a table. I think someone dumped them. Yeah, I think the Times is totally behind this. I heard they're using Dominion for the. I also got it. I also got it with the post office as well. <laughs> we don't uh, know. So, uh, <laughs> so anyway, I do want to well, say hilarious. congratulations. Well, hey, man, you first off, your campaign was great, which was nice. And you're a great mayor and people are excited about you and you're doing great things in Lake Station. So congratulations. And I'm taking that crap back next year. I'm just putting you on notice. Oh. Like I'm, I'm pulling out all the stops. I'm putting my congressional <laughs> campaign team on it. Look out. Oh no. It's <laughs> a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Kevin's going to be times. my campaign manager for this one next year. We are sure to win. Yes. All right. Oh. <laughs> Doesn't Marissa that have was, an election uh, next I year? I guess, you know, it's not like, what have you done for me lately? <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, I guess the, he's you know, on a losing streak. Bill. On he's on a losing streak right now. It's all the, we gave him Marissa so, so we, we could bounce the losing streak. Thank you. Yeah. yeah I'll be happy to help. Jeff you are Marissa. Marissa's campaign manager. Congratulations. I, uh, she's, yeah, congratulations. She told me that. Thank you. We're yeah. looking forward to a very, I'd like to officially uh, endorse. Efficient. Thank, Thank you. I appreciate you. Uh, Whoa. Uh, thanks, Mayor. Well, Absolutely. Even after all like... this. You endorse Marissa. Absolutely. You're I would. the best. Buddy. Wow. I you know what? You, 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 I know you, the judge will appreciate that. And don't take this wrong here, mm-hmm. but you vote for the best person. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and by far, yeah. she's shown. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, yes, yes, for sure. I, I was like, yes, what the for hell? Sure. He's you jamming me right yourself. now. Yeah. He's jamming me right He's now. Jamming you. He's endorsing my wife and jamming me. <laughs> yeah. 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 He t- totally you have to is. say yes. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about the Mar- Marissa's <laughs> race. You have to say, yeah, you're right. He's the guy. No wonder he's mayor. Mayor Bill jams Tom. There's a headline. 
<laughs> you did, you no, you're an outstanding mayor, man. You really you're putting Lake Station job. on the map you again and again. Job. Yeah, and I brag about you all the time. I really do. Thank you. Like, I do. Like when I talk to people about Mayor Bill, I'm like, dude, I cannot believe how great this guy is. He's, he's right person at the right time. Lake Station, super lucky to have you. And you got a great spouse, Mike. He's a wonderful guy. I'm happy to know you, and I'm super happy for you. I know this meant a lot to you, and it's great for you, man. It really is. Congratulations. Thank Congrats. you, Mayor Bill. With the best. Seriously. Thank you very I'm proud much. Of you. Yeah. Hey, Mayor Bill, I saw something in the paper, speaking of putting Lake Station on the map, that you are now uh, going to be a fireman or are a firefighter? Uh, a... At the end of this month, I'll start being able to uh, answer fire calls. Really? Yes. As volunteer fire department? Yeah, vo- you know, a volunteer. Really? Oh, That's cool. awesome. So or, or paid on call, it's called now. So uh, uh, I'm excited. Uh, so I got you classes have... three nights a week for that. Uh, council, uh, you know, uh very busy. You're just under the age limit, right? Because I know there's like a maximum age you could be to be a firefighter. I know. Wow. For, I'm 42 years old. Listen, like no, I'm a kind for volunteer. volunteer. I'm I'm a kind for volunteer. I don't, I don't know. know. That's what I was yeah. asking. Yeah, because yeah. I know to be a like a full time firefighter, if you're over a certain age, and you can't. Right, but I, I imagine for a Do you have to just volunteer. get in under that, and you, or do they make right. you stop when you reach? No, a if you're, you're over it, you're done. You can't be a firefighter. So like police officers too. No, 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 no. You yeah. can be a firefighter if you're already on the force. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. Oh, okay. saying. That's you what can't I'm start your career. They're not going right. to force you into retirement. No, when you, hit, like, you can't start your career no. if you're over a certain age. Oh, okay. I want to say it's like 32 or something like that. That's that weird. Older. No, you can't start your career. But like, I'll be honest, it's a young person. Well, isn't military the same way? Yeah. Um, yeah, you can't I, dro- I, I can't, I can't join the army route today right. at 52. Right. You're like, you join it at 52. Yeah. You're like, hey, <laughs> I can't jump that wall. I'm 52. <laughs> but I mean, it's it's so hard to get volunteer or, you know, uh, volunteer firefighters because you have to go through six months of class. Uh, you know, you've got, uh, I mean, it, it's serious stuff. You're running into a fire. You know, you're saving people's lives. You know, you're there to comfort them on the best, on the worst day of their lives. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that's, that's very important to me. Um, but, uh, uh, like I said, I've got, we've got, we're just kicking ass with it. Uh, Lake station has put on, uh, its own program. Uh, we're going to try to, uh, um, uh, expand on that. Uh, so there are different opportunities. Uh, right now there's district one, which is in St. John, um, run by Joe Martin. Uh, he's a fantastic guy. And then, uh, there's the Mac. And uh, I figured, you know, with my schedule, uh, and it's here, 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 uh, you know, and, and we put together, we got, you know, all of our guys were trained and are able to teach. We have 13 people in our, in our class, which is the highest that we've had. Um, some of them might not make it, uh, and that's okay. Uh, life comes first, family comes mm-hmm. first, as right. always. Um, but, uh, you know, uh, Mikey, uh, the other day, uh, put a picture of me because he's like, I have not seen you in three days. Nice. Wow. Well, but you know, yeah. uh, you got to do what you got to do. Man, and, you got to uh, watch. Like you push yourself real hard. Absolutely, I know I, you do. You but know, like, I know driven. you've been sick, and I mean, I'm, I'm. This is not even a joke. You got to like take care of yourself. You know, make sure that that's one thing I've learned in time, honestly, and I'm really good about it now. Is I've been married five terms, as you know, like scheduling time for yourself, like to exercise or to like mm-hmm. just clear your head. It's super, super important. Like you got to be on your game, you know, and. That's one thing I've learned in time because when I, I remember when I first became mayor, I'd have like seven o'clock a.m. appointments and stupid stuff or like I can't get there until after work. Can you do a 6 p.m. appointment? I'm like, sure. And I'd be sitting at City Hall till eight o'clock. I don't do any of that now. Like I have set hours. And obviously for City Hall, for office stuff, I have yeah. set hours. Of course, stuff after work or before work. Always. You got to do that. That's, that's part of the job. Right. But like it, my in office stuff, I'm very rigid about it. You know, they, uh, we've got some interesting info on the chat. Former firefighter Scott Rakos says you have to start before your 36th birthday. 36, that's what that's it for, is. That's for a full-time fire. Full-time, full-time fire, time. yeah. Right. And then yeah. in police, I think they, uh, Kelly Mickey Probably said 35. So 35, so, yeah. yeah. I know they have limits like that. So, so like, goes, you and I couldn't start careers. There goes careers. my police career. Right. My <laughs> firefighter career. I'd be a good cop. I always wanted to be a firefighter. I'd be a good cop. No, you'd be a good bad be man. partners. Yeah. I think I we'd be good partners. Too. Yeah. Good cop, bad cop. Switch it off every other day. would be which? Yeah, I'll switch off every day. Good cop, <laughs> bad cop. Good every cop, day. bad cop. Like, that way they can't be like, oh, that good mayor, uh, bad uh, mayor. Mayor was... Tom's an asshole today. Uh, <laughs> mayor Carroll's an asshole <laughs> tomorrow. Uh, I go, which one's a good cop, bad cop? He just starts laughing. I'm like, like we know, you, mayor we Bill. know who that is. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like this. Well, Mayor Bill, uh, obviously you're always welcome here in the studio. You are. We and you're the best. I, I, I well, love it that it. you guys have uh, welcomed me into this. Dude, uh, we love having you as part of the cast. You know what? Like I said, this is all. 
uh, all of the region, uh, all the mayors. Uh, yep. We work together. Yep. We communicate, sure. and uh, you know we all have the same uh, the same vision, the same goals, uh, and uh, we just want to make sure that we are doing the best that we can do uh, to help our citizens. Because at the end of the day, we work for the citizens. We're here to help the citizens, not make their life miserable right you know what i mean like uh that. you know we don't want any of that Mm-mm. you know uh, uh we should get some type of uh, crown or something <gasps> oh okay. I maybe i crowns. should buy it and then i'll like tiara officially or like a crown a tiara like, like, like a Thank like you. we should have something honestly tiara? maybe as tiara? outgoing when i was in the navy we used to do this tiara. stuff like the outgoing we called it snob in the navy mm-hmm. if the shortest nuke on board and we would have the snob knob and whoever the shortest person the was, snob knob. It was awesome. Yes. Like you snob wear it, knob doesn't snob sound like knob. a good thing. It was it was the knob of the nuclear Are you reactor. Saying slob or snob? Snob. Shortest. Okay. I think we should get this tiara. <laughs> snob knob. I'm good with the tiara. Swarovski. Swarovski. I would correct Mayor Bill. It would have to be something because we have male and female. Uh, He's our guest. Elected <laughs> officials, obviously, for mayors. And, I mean, you know, obviously, Mayor Bill has it this year, and then next year it's going to be somebody else. I think we should get something that's uh, going to be comfortable for whoever's wearing it. So Those are great I don't options. think I would look good in that. Yeah. What about this one? That's a cute option. <laughs> <laughs> if if I was Lady Gaga yeah, right. and I was going to a rave, uh, <laughs> that would be perfect. We never know. So uh, you're gonna come, You already said Festival Lakes. One? You're going ra- to rave. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I'll buy you uh, a crown gonna go, just We're going to go on a three-day bender. This I'm one? ready for it. Let's go. Birthday girl crown. <laughs> no, we got we to figure out a crown. I'll I know crown our audience can't see it, but I promise I'm picking the gaudiest crowns I can find. So, uh, Mayor Bill, you are coming to Red Rockers concert with me, I, I hear. And I imagine, you know, you're going to bring Mike and Absolutely. we're going to have a good time. Absolutely. I want you to know you're invited as my guest as the best mayor in the region. I will give you there good you tickets go. to the shows. Well, thank you very That's much. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mayor Dave's going to be out in the parking lot, though, you know, because only the best mayor gets the good tickets. It's <laughs> top three, though. Mayor Dave's solid mayor, man. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're all solid. I mean, honestly, the mayor, the region's lucky. The mayor, the quality of the mayor is very high, like to a, to a community. Yeah, I and, I, and I think that we've all stepped up our game. Oh, yeah. Because we all compete we with have each to. other. Yeah, we compete with each other. But it's a friendly competition. Hell it is. You know, I, well, you know what you're talking I, to. I, I, I was, I was, getting, me, I, buddy. I, was getting, I was getting emails saying, man, you better back off McDermott. <laughs> He's going to get you. You know, you don't, that's the uh, one, that's the uh, one buddy. you don't want to mess you with. You ever hear the saying, revenge is best served cold, a dish best served cold? That's right. All right. Buddy. Look out. Yeah, just relax. Look out. Man. That means he's going to freeze you to death. He's going to put you in the <laughs> back row. stick you outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to have you up here. Maybe in a minute. Next to the porta potty. That's it. Yeah. Hey, you did, know? You, did you know the notorious LMP has a PhD in BS? Oh, <laughs> that was. We're funny, gonna go man. back to that. that. Was funny, See, man. no, that's what I get for calling him. Like, I he told me about Sammy Hagar last episode. And I was like, are we going to announce that today? And then I called it an old man band, and he got really mad. He's like, that's my that's my guy. <laughs> he was waiting. Dude, he's he was like, waiting. You don't, you don't say that about Sammy Hagar. I remember. I have stories about, like. You don't say yeah. that about Sammy. No, you don't say that about Sammy. He's, I like, went, he's like ageless, isn't he? He looks he's, it, man. That dude, picture, that photo that John he's put like, up. I don't even want to say how old he is. People won't come if you hear how old right? he is. But yeah. Don't say it, Lindsay. He's 77. No, no, he's no not 77. way. Anyway, he's going to be good. He's like 72. Wrap us up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I was Wrap crying. us. Uh, I just want to say thanks to the best mayor in the region. Absolutely. Uh, thank you for having me uh, on here. And uh, I look forward to uh, uh, numerous uh, projects, numerous communication. You got to get back uh, and, on left and, and center. And learning. And learning from you. You got to get back on left to center again. It's Absolutely. great to see you, Mayor Bill. And Thank then, you, guys. Of course, Kevin Smith, my great co-host. Thank you, Kevin, for uh, putting together a great show today. The notorious LMP with a PhD in BS, At Lindsay least McDermott. It's a PhD. Uh, Lindsay McDermott Prosco. Good to see you, sweetie. Love you. And then, uh, of course, the Vez. Yeah, yeah. J Bone, the Vez. Much like the weekend, he's the Vez. <laughs> the Vez. Mm. Thank quick. you for supporting me, John. I appreciate Boy in the that. bubble. <laughs> Real quick, what was the poll numbers? Uh, Good question. John. Uh, John? Poll John. results are who really won best mayor 2021? 60%. 6-0 Tom. Whoa. 4-0 zero zero Bill. Well, welcome welcome to Left of Center, show. buddy. <laughs> which, which <laughs> Bill, which it's means you got to yell close. at your people for not so watching this show today. Am I back today. winning as a campaign manager? Does that mean I just did a, I I don't a know, win? I do man. You bailed on me, man. Yeah. You were one of the jurors. You bailed. I you voted for you, though, in this poll, did in you? the real poll. You're, like, all over the place. See? So Anyway, we appreciate you guys listening to Left of Center. Don't forget, rate, subscribe. Uh, like all that stuff and uh see you on friday no it is friday see you on tuesday don't forget to buy your sammy hagar ticket memorial day weekend don't forget those happy memorial day yeah festival the lakes.com lake station is having is having uh an extravaganza 
Memorial Day uh, celebration. So uh, anybody out there who's out in that area, please stop by. Uh, Pay your respects to good. those who have served and paid the ultimate yep. sacrifice. Thanks, sure. everybody. Uh, see you on Tuesday. Have All a right. nice weekend. God bless.